I've had a busy week in Parliament this week, um, both with the Brexit Bill and with a series of community visits and activities. It started on Monday with a visit to Royal Berkshire Fire and Rescue, where I attended their Caversham Road Fire Station and also went out on a fire safety visit to an old people's home. Our local fire brigade have suffered quite severe cuts, but they're still carrying out very important work to protect our community. I think it's my job as a new local MP to learn more about what they do, to understand them better and to also offer them real support. The Brexit Bill came back to the Commons this week and we had two days of very important debate on this high priority and fundamentally important issue. I spoke out in favour of us retaining a close relationship with the EU after Brexit and voted in favour of the Labour position to retain those close links that we all need to protect jobs and our economy. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to speak in favour of the Labour front bench amendment and the amendment on the customs union. Mr Speaker, the government is deeply divided and has no plan for the future, despite two years having passed since the referendum. Given the lack of clarity and the absence of any clear policy, I believe it is incumbent on this House to help find a sensible way forward. And I hope colleagues on all sides will support a balanced, sensible approach, which includes continued close working with the EU after we have left the Union. Whilst the majority voted to leave, no one in this country voted to be worse off, no one voted for instability in Northern Ireland, and no one voted for a shortage of NHS staff. A cliff-edge hard Brexit would, I believe, be too far for most of those who wanted to leave, as well as for the majority of my constituents who voted to remain. Mr Speaker, after two years of indecision by the Government, of distraction by hard Brexiteers, it is time for a sensible way forward. Mr Speaker, I would urge colleagues across the House to consider these issues carefully and to reflect on the very real concerns that many have about the direction in which we are currently heading. Thank you.